praying about what I wanted to share with you guys today and just searching what was on the Lord's heart about bringing you some encouraging words, he brought me to John chapter 10, verse 10. We know this scripture very well here at Cornerstone World Life Church. Pastor Mark references it a lot. We reference it in youth a lot. But I wanna look at something here, and some of you may have heard me say this before, but it's always good to come back around. So verse 10 says this, the thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy. My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. So anything that doesn't give us a rich and satisfying life is not from God. We know this to be true. We understand everything that is bad in this world happens because of the devil. The Bible says he is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. So he brings all these things, these pestilence, these plagues, these diseases, these temptations, these trials to try to get into our lives, to try to discourage us, to try to bring us down, to try to let us let go of our faith. But we know that God God is always good. Every good and perfect gift comes down from him. But what I want you to notice is how this scripture words this. It says, the thief's purpose is to steal, to kill, and destroy. I truly believe this. Before he can kill and destroy your life, he must steal something from you. The devil understands that if he can steal the word of God from you, then he can come in after that and kill and destroy your life. This is why it's important for us to stay connected right now more than ever we need to stay connected to God through his word do not what happens when in my life lots of times is when something is going on things are getting really busy and really chaotic I have this natural tendency to draw back from God's word I have this natural tendency to draw back from fellowshipping with him and spending time with him don't do that in this time right now more than ever because the Bible says he is not pleased with those that draw back and we are not of those that draw back I don't believe you're drawn back but instead let's push forward and let's push into God like we've never pushed into God through the Word of God, fellowshipping with Him, talking to Him, watching these devotions, watching these uh, videos of encouragement so we can stay connected to God. Because when we stay connected to God, He works out all the things in our lives. The Bible says He perfects everything that concerns us. So don't let the devil steal the Word of God from you. I want to read one last scripture to you. It's over here in the book of Psalms, and this shows us what happens when we stay connected. Here in chapter 1 of the book of Psalms, and we'll start in verse 2, it says, But they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. We also see this in the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8, where he said, Joshua, meditate in the book of law day and night. And so what he's saying is don't draw back. Don't let the devil steal this word, but instead meditate. Stay connected through the word of God. And as you do, you'll get joy. You'll get peace. There is no better way to be encouraged than reading God's word. It's amazing. Every time I open up my Bible and I sit there and I read the word of God, it encourages me in my spirit. I'm strengthened in my inner man. And as I'm strengthened in my inner man, he brings strength to my outer man. I am so excited right now, guys, because I know God is faithful and he wants to demonstrate his faithfulness to you. Listen to me, he is faithful to a thousand generations and you are in line to see that faithfulness in the land of the living. Have an expectation that you're gonna see some miraculous things in your life no matter what is going on right now. Let's finish reading this. He says, but they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. I love this. They are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit in every season. Their leaves never wither and they prosper in all that they do. It doesn't matter what's going on. I believe you're prospering in this time. It doesn't matter what's going on. I believe the Holy Spirit is producing good fruits in your life. I thank you that, Lord, that they have joy and peace and patience and love. The Holy Spirit is working in you. And I love that it says that your leaves never wither. How does this happen? We choose to stay connected to him. In one of our other videos, we referenced John chapter 15. Listen, guys, we must stay connected to him. Over in John 15, Jesus said, if you part from me, you can do nothing. But what else do we know? In him, all things are possible. So stay connected to God in this time. Read your Bibles, pray, watch these videos, watch the live streams. Make up your mind that you're gonna stay connected and you're not gonna let the devil use fear or chaos or anything else steal the word from your lives. And as you protect it, God will do some miraculous things in your life. We're praying for you, we love you, and we'll see you next time.